Okay, welcome back to the kitchen. We're going to make the famous Oreo dessert that my mom always used to make. So here's a quick glance at the recipe card. Okay, now we make this in a 13 by 9 pan, but we're not going to make it in a 13 by 9 pan today. We are going to make it into a smaller pan so that Molly doesn't eat all of it. So we have our ingredients out here. We have the Oreos, which combines with the butter for the bottom base. Then we have our half gallon of ice cream, which fits nicely in a 13 by 9, but we're not going to use it all because we're going to use the smaller tin for today. Then we're going to add our topping sauce. Cover it with some Cool Whip, let it freeze in between, and then add some nice nuts at the top of it. So we're going to start simply by having some no spray cooking so that it doesn't stick as much there. We're going to have to melt some of this butter, half a stick of butter. So we'll get that going in the micro right above my head. Oh, no, not three minutes. Holy cow. That would be some butter. All right. And then we go back down here. Now we're going to have to have this bag here because we need about 20 Oreos. So we're going to put them in a bag here. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we seal those up so the dog doesn't get them. We put them over here with the fresh fruit. Let's see. Check on that butter. Oh, nice shape. That's a nice shape there. Okay, so why do we need green beans, you ask? Well, the green beans are, are help for the mashing, mash the cookies. So I didn't seal the bag because I want a little bit of space there so I don't smash the bag open and the cookies go flying. You learn that from experience. Just gonna mash up these cookies here. Take out the day's frustration. <laughs> yeah, and that looks that looks good. So this is gonna become part of the base of the dessert. So we got our nice butter here. Um, and we are going to can you see that butter there? We are going to pour the butter right in there. Get all that nasty, nasty right into this low calorie dessert. Now I might seal it and give it a good mixing right in the bag. And put that in the sink. I usually like to have my sink water going, so I wash the dishes as I make a mess. I wasn't quite prepared for that today. So that feels like it's warm and it's kind of mixed. So let's put her in. So you want to make sure that you don't make a big mess here because you don't want to lose any of this goodness. Yep, way too much here. I'm going to put some back in the bag for the other pan. Otherwise, I won't be able to fit any of the ice creams and the other stuff in. So we'll save that for later. Now we want to mush this into a solid covering along the bottom of the pan. Um... Again, I'm not sure if you can see this. Let's see. Make sure that I have this on camera because I don't want to do it twice. All right, there it is. Do a quick wash of the hands in the sinkaroo. Some nice soap.
Got it. All right. Next step, got the base as the Oreo. Now we can add the ice cream. We're done with our smasher there. I'm using Fudge Ripple. You can use any kind of ice cream you would like. Um, but beware if you do chocolate on chocolate, it gets really chocolatey. Now that could be good or it could be bad. And again, if you are using a nine by 13, a half gallon fits perfectly. Smash that in right there with your hands. Kids, get right in there. This is some good stuff here. See now, my mom would have you then, at this point, refreeze. Freeze this up, make sure it's hard. Oop, gotta do a quick wash. Hands are cold. Do a quick quick freeze of that. We're not gonna do that just yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the fudge layer. Now this is a secret. Don't tell my siblings because they'll be awfully upset because my mom would make her own fudge. I'm not gonna make the, I'm just gonna use what Kroger had and we're gonna go from there. So, gotta heat that up. It's getting heated in the microwave. Oh, I'm gonna get a spoon here. So I can give the, give it a stir. While, we're, while that's stirring, I'm gonna put this into the freezer. Gosh, look at making a mess already. Okay, here we go. We have heated up, hopefully we've heated up the hot fudge. Hot fudge from the Kroger. Oh, that's still yeah, let's give her a go. All right, so we're just going to put a layer of this right onto the ice cream. So just kind of do a dab of this warm hot fudge. Ooh, can't wait to get my spoon to spread that around. Let's see how we doing here. Take care to get those corners. Whoop. All right, gonna come up short there. This will work. This is looking good. Now, friends, this has to freeze. So we're going to... Oh, I don't like dirty hands. Snap this on. We're going to put it into... The freezer to freeze, and then after it freezes for about half an hour, 45 minutes, then we're going to put the whipped topping on and cover the top. Now, the hair recipe, Mary Sue always used Spanish peanuts on top of the Cool Whip to kind of dress it up, but we're gonna go with the lightly salted peanuts from planters today. The lightly salted peanuts be a little health conscious in the holidays for this not so diet dessert. Ha ha ha. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the freezer and I'm gonna take out from the magic 
freezer box here. Now, it's important when you're freezing it that it stays level. Otherwise, the chocolate's going to, whoa, going to spread around. That'll work. All right, I happen to have a finished one here. So, let's, let's see, let's, um, let's get a plate and see. Oh, I can't stand this mess. Let's put this away. Butter, butter, butter. Chunk, 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 chunk. Whoops. Nope, not, that's not for Winnie. Paper plate here. Oh. Several paper plates. There we go. This is one that I finished the other day. And let's see how it looks. First one always comes out looking crazy. <sighs> come on, come on. All right, there's part of it. Oh, look at that. Let's get the other part of it. Oh, look at that. And then we will fix that pan. So you can see here's the Oreo cookie, the ice cream layer, the hot fudge, and I didn't use M&M's on this. I used, uh, not M&M's, I didn't use the peanuts, I used chocolate chips. So, you can kind of see in there. Can you see those layers there? Boop, 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 boop. And then that's, that's a nice, nice dessert. But it's not for the dieters. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Bye.